Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I've got Cameo with me tonight. Micah's under the weather. And uh, so where he's going to help me out. Um, there you go, Gator. So when I was in high school, there was this girl named Mary Mustuck. Actually, it was in junior high. And that's how she sneezed. And so we all thought it was super funny because she'd be like, Ah, chewy! And so we all would say that. <laughs> Whenever she'd sneeze, we'd all say it. And she'd be like, shut up! Yeah, me too. So we're just going to cut across this midsection here. Oh, geez, generally. that Hopefully that goes well. Man. The National Guard Armory. Yeah, so this is... We got the two Kenworths going. I've got the more modern Kenny. And uh, Cameo's rocking the, the vintage... 963, mine's a 990. His is definitely way more of the logging truck. Oh, that's right, this doesn't have all-wheel drive. Ooh, that might have been a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho. I might be needing a pull here. I forgot about that. I think, didn't they give this truck all-wheel drive, though, now or something? Like enough people complain oh, that they that they made it all wheel drive, but I don't have it installed yet because that was probably after I've been using this. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. I don't. I don't remember. Number twenty for your eye for eye work. Oh, jeez. I do like the new Civic. Uh, and it's not really new. It's like two years old now at this point, the, the body style. But it's really nice inside. My friend my friend Rob got one, and it's super nice. Though I would have to get the Sport or the, the, the SI, probably the SI. But they're so expensive. But the Type R's are really cool. They're just, they're so expensive. Yeah, this truck's doing okay. That's one of the things that people like hate about this truck is that it actually does really well. <laughs> but it's they're not powerful enough. Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to go we need to go. So, now I guess I'm just going to continue with you cameo. Um but I'm looking to see if there's a better route for myself to get out here. Um the logging station that you're going to, you can see from here that you see the arrow. Mhm. Mm so that's the that, yeah that's where you're headed uh, so it's kind of the middle island I need to go to the left of it I think you need to go to the right of it if I'm not mistaken and I'm trying to stay out of this puddle but it's too late I didn't Slow those wheels down. Yeah, just look at you. The slime master. <laughs> I wasn't playing around, man. Help me. Yeah, because I have no forward, no front traction, I can't steer. Good? <laughs> we all know. Yeah, I'm good. Uh oh. It's okay, it's the bog. I know. I was just sad when Big Kenny gets slowed down. <laughs> Big Kenny's got a little extra, little a little friend to pull along with him. That's fine. Bring me with you. It's the only thing about this truck, it has no turning radius. That is very true. Yes. The class is what? What class were you in, Hawkeye? Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Kim. Oh, you're good. 
I was making sure he's getting through. Yeah, it should be okay from here on out. Oh, networking. Is it for Network Plus or for, like, your degree? Oh, I, know, I think I said hi to j -Wa. Hey, j -Wa. Yo. Well, hey, j -Wa. <laughs> Mr. Wa. That looked really impressive, but in the long run. <laughs> you were already in bed, dude. <laughs> it was multiple missions. It was that was with us going out and doing some killing and then also after that we came back and did some hauling. So between killing and hauling we made a bunch of money. And it might not have been a quite that much. I think it was more like thirty or forty million. But I have yeah, I'm over sixty million now in my bank account in the game. Yeah, we're only half done by midnight, right? So you do have to work to now. Do you work from home, don't you, Cameo? Yes. Uh, no, we were, uh, we were playing Elite Dangerous last night. Yep, I get to work from the house. Very nice thing to do. What time do you start? Oh, about 7.30 in the morning. Oh, that's early. Why so early? So I can get done early. I mean, yeah. I hear that. Like this morning, I was done eh, around 11. I played railroads online the rest of the day. How'd you get done so early? I'm good at what I do. But you gotta think, I don't necessarily have OS to send on every patient every day. It's just a select, you know, a select few, so. Oh, I see. Um. You said he keeps me company. Uh, location is best to spawn in. Let's see, Lorville or an area 28. Okay, so Lorville is the ugliest, but it's also the quickest to get to this to your space station. I still like New Babbage the best. I think it's either for me, like from a from a looks standpoint, uh, Orison and New Babbage are both the prettiest ones. I my home is New Babbage, so. It's a snowy planet, but it takes longer to leave there. Once again, the nice thing about Lauraville is you just hop on the transit and you're at the airport. It's a little hard to find it, though. But Look at how much faster his truck is. Now, you're going, you should be going to the right here on this island. Mm -hmm. your, your kiosk is to the right. Mine is straight ahead like and a little bit to the right. So you like Area 18. Area 18 is pretty cool, too. Yeah, that too, it tends to be out a little bit. So make sure you go straight across because you're on this real close island here. Yeah, I took a right turn at the Ford. Okay. You want to know, talking about my truck being fast, half the time I've not even had all-wheel drive on. Jeez, oh, Pete. That's because it's got those huge tires. Right. Mr. Wesley, how are you? Oops. That went gator. I'm doing all right. <laughs> I think a lot of those like tram and like 
elevator deaths have been fixed by now. But you never know. Oh, that's cool, Hawkeye. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really... Elite Dangerous has kind of been my lately my junk out game at nighttime when I'm done streaming and stuff. Last two weeks. Oh, crap. Really? I guess I'm going this way. We're almost there. Oh, and you have no reach. There's no bridge. What sucks is we got to go back across. Oh, I forgot to put my... Sorry, guys. I forgot to put my interface on so people can see. The bridge is out. Yeah, and moving at this speed, I don't think I could jump it. <laughs> <laughs> what year did the Titanic sake? It was like... 1918? 21? Whatever. Nineteen twelve, okay. I was thinking nineteen twelve. That is really early. Oh, I appreciate that, Chris. Um I don't know that we have much for you to do. We're almost done with the map. Uh, but I don't honestly if you want to join you can. Uh, you just gotta get in on our chat channel. And then I'll send you the code. We tried to get Idiotly Gaming to join too. I suppose. I've got two slots if anyone else wants to join. Oh, so it actually sank the next day. Interesting. Yeah, I've got mods turned off. He won't be able to do. It will be an, a force no mods. <laughs> was it in? It was it nineteen or eighteen? I'm sorry, fourteen ninety two. Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Fourteen sixty two. Fourteen ninety two. Fourteen sixty two. Which one was it? Fourteen ninety two. Ninety two. Okay. And. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't it an Italian guy named Americo Vespucci? Amerigo Vespucci that discovered America? No, not 1792. <laughs> we were a country in 1776. <laughs> 1792. Oh, so Vespucci was after Columbus. Is that true? Or was he before? Oh, I guess he was, wasn't he? Well, I am proud that this truck made this over here. This is a pretty rough route. We haven't quite got there yet, but we're, we're getting close. The mid terrains. Yeah, these tires. No, it's just this truck doesn't have all wheel drive. At least mine doesn't. I'm going to the house on the coast. Oh. Okay, so you're, you're headed there? Yeah. So oh, Amerigo God. Vespucci was on the trip with Columbus. Okay, he was his cartographer. All right, because I always wondered how that worked out. I'm like. So he named it America, even though Columbus is the one that kind of discovered it. <laughs> Love it. It's like, I'm going to name this country after myself. Uh, too bad for Christopher. He's a jerk. I know. <laughs> Sorry, generally. Oh, like, idiotly, like, generally. What's up, bad Chevy? I 
I got so close, and yet we're like a finish line fail. Come on, baby. Fudge knuckles. Okay, well, we have a little we have a little secret up our sleeve. The Svespucci scooter. <laughs> I know, right? What's up, y'all? Oh, okay, and how to dis determine longitude. Interesting, okay. Mr. Vespucci was quite the cartographer. All right. Sometimes you just need some extra driving wheels. I don't know how you do those <laughs> games. I, the, I cannot play Resident Evil. Man, that game makes me wet my pants I'm such a big chicken when it comes to horror games I'm surprised you actually played once human still I, it, it's more fantasy though it's not it is it is it's yeah you know what it's it is game. what makes it those games hard is the um, the fact that you're always it's a scarcity issue you're constantly running out of ammo and being attacked by zombies. And that, to me, is like, it's terrifying. Like, with Once Human, yeah, I'm just like, brr, 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 you know, it's like I'm not running out of ammo. I got plenty of different weapons to pick from. You know, we do have to collect ammo and stuff, but it's easy. But, like, Resident Evil, and I think to a, it is a, a smaller extent. Well, there you go. Resvani tank to the rescue. Um uh, Half Life Two, because I, Half Life One was terrifying at times for me, but I was able to play it. But 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 uh, Half Life Two had the, they had like oh, like sorry, go I was gonna say they have like zombies and like fast moving zombies, and then you, you're running out of ammo, and you're like trying to use the stupid magnetic thing to throw discs at them, <laughs> and it just it was terrifying. The they one were, that always got me was Silent Hill. That series, oh my gosh, those. See, I never. Me. I don't think I could play those either. Yeah, like that. Uh, if, if those others are getting you, I do not recommend Silent Hill. That's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Uh, I don't get scared easy, and it would give me the creeps. Like it had jump scares in it on purpose. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard it's a terrifying game. It is. Yeah, don't play it late at night with all the lights off. That's for sure. Right. Right. Uh, till Cameo can't play anymore. <laughs> so probably another half an hour. Eh, or, or I'm not going a little later to that. Okay. <laughs> Idiot <laughs> let's, let's see. Let's have, uh, have an airplane. Somebody asked. Uh, oh, hang on. I'm missing. There's so many comments. Florentine Sellers were the best of the best. Uh, what would you pick? Civic Type R or Integra Type S? Uh, probably the Civic Type R. But if I could have any sport vehicle from either of those companies, I would like to get the T the the uh, the TL Type S with the the uh, like souped up one. This is scary. We have to cross here, and it's looking very scary. Uh, okay, trying to get them all done before eight or nine comes out. Okay. Okay, that's cool, Chris. Hey, I didn't get to tell you earlier because I was having microphone issues, but I hope Mr. Micah gets feeling better. He's been under the weather a while, too. Yeah, this is a different thing. He got sick again this week with something different, so at least it's not the same thing.
<laughs> there you go, 44, yeah. Warning signs that say keep away. Ooh, baby hot hatchbacks. System shock, too. Okay. I would never buy a BMW. I'd much rather have the Acura. BMWs are just a nightmare waiting to happen. They're cool, but they're... You're talking... Well, I guess if you have the money for a BMW, you don't really care about the maintenance, do you? So... <laughs> Uh, I don't really know enough about the Integra to know if I would want it or not. I, I, I'd have to look into them. I don't. The older ones didn't really do much for me. Um, so, uh, the Type R was cooler, but I modern Type R versus modern Integra. They don't even make the Integra anymore, do they? Yeah, this truck is great. I don't. I don't, I'm not sure what people were saying. It wasn't good enough, because it's really good, and I like it better than the other. What was the other truck that it's kind of people were comparing it to? Was it the the um, international, the military truck, uh, the Transtar? No, not the Transtar. The Navistar. I think people were saying, "Well, it's the same thing as that." I, I can't. I don't know. I'm not sure why people were upset about this truck, but it's really good. Until we got here. The snow mud combination is what killed me. Okay, so let's see. We're almost... Oh, we're almost there. Look at that. We're doing great, actually. Did you make it to the old widow's cabin? Yep. Our load has been delivered. Oh, all right. If you want to take a look... Hang on. Let me see what's next. Um... Oh, Lordy. I've started the delivery through the plateau. If you want to start looking at that, this is that's going to be a nightmare. And I will what, finish. Uh, what do you have left on that? On which one? Delivery to the plateau. We just started it, so the whole thing, all of it. Oh, okay, so you got to do all of it. Yep. So it's not a we we will not be able to complete it tonight. So don't worry about like trying to get the whole thing done. Just what it, we're just getting started because that's going to be that's a big part a big mission like a big part mission. My favorite vehicle manufacturer. Oh, man. That's a really tough question. That's like, who's your favorite band? Man. There's a lot of them, and I like them all. Um, oh, no, I turned the wrong way. No. Oh, crap. Not easy when you got a tractor trailer, but it's okay. We're right here. My favorite vehicle manufacturer, I don't know. If I could have any car and I was a skinny guy, I would pick the uh, Fiat um, 124 Spider that was built on the Mazda Miata frame. What a great looking car. That's absolutely my favorite car. I'd want the Spider. I want it white with the black hood and the red mirrors. I'll take one right now. Problem is, I'm a big fat guy, so I wouldn't even fit in that. Um, so that's my one of my favorite cars. I really like Porsche. You know, obviously, they're all performance. Now, this is cool. You'll like this, Jaywa. My one of the guys that I work with. Oh, in fact, I'm going to take it. We're going to take a second. We're just going to take one second. I promise it won't be long. I'm going to show you the toys that this guy has in his garage. OK, this is a guy that I do photos for one of the realtors 
who's not a realtor anymore, by the way, because he's been having such a hard time doing real estate that he gave up. Um, but I'm going to show you his garage because he he had an issue with uh, concrete in his garage. The guy that poured it did a crappy job, and it's all coming up. And so he had me take photos of it for a lawsuit that he's in with this guy. And um, so projects and his garage. But he has a little surprise in his garage. <laughs> and I'm gonna. This is from far away because we're. I was taking this photo to show the, the the discoloration on the floor. But this is the back of the garage, right? So here we go. Are you ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <Yeah. laughs> so we have a 2006. Um, I don't know their names, but this is the convertible, and then like a 2008 or something like that, and then this is a Prowler. He's at. This is actually for, if you guys want this. This is actually for sale right now. The Prowlers. It is um, it's black. It looks really nice. I actually, they always showed them in purple, but this one's a, the, a black model, and it's he's asking thirty for it, which is not. I mean, thirty thousand bucks. It's got six thousand miles on it. It's almost brand new, and there's only like, I want to say there's maybe a thousand of those in the country. So yeah, it's it's a super rare car, and he's he's asking thirty. So. <laughs> It's not super fast. It's it's a uh, it's a V six, but that's really cheap for for that car. Um, but this one, this car is worth. He said he, I think he bought it for like forty or fifty several years ago, and there these are going for over a hundred thousand now. So this is also a very rare one. I think this is. There were only a hundred of these, I think, made with the blue and white stripe, and this one's number like sixty something. So this car is worth a lot of money because it's a super rare version of the. I mean, they're already rare to begin with, but yeah, SRT10. There you go. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, yeah, right there it says right there, doesn't it? <laughs> You've got the SRT and the SRT10. Yeah, man, <laughs> that's so cool. So I'm just like Ken. You are so cool. <laughs> Yeah, but honestly, after you know experiencing it, he like he said he drive he drives both, and he's like you know I honestly like driving the Prowler. He said it's more comfortable, and it actually is it is decently fast. He's like it's it's got plenty of power. So, but on that one that he had, the guy that owned it originally took it and chromed it all. So like all the like just the regular stainless steel parts have all been replaced with like chrome parts. So it's real fancy. Um, Fancy pants. All right, so I'm gonna see. How do we get back? Did you go back the way that we came? Mm -hmm. I guess that's what I'm gonna do too. This sucks. I gotta go back. This road is really bad, but I need to refuel too. Hang on. Let's see how much we got. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Yeah, I just double back. It looked like that was the easiest option, so. And I'm lazy. I don't feel like driving any extra. Right. Yeah, I would love a Prowler. That's a, It's such a cool car. But I'd be afraid to drive it, so. Yeah, come on in, Chris. Yeah, they're probably afraid to road race them, right? <laughs> Gator. Yeah. Uh, I never really got there, did I? I don't know which 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 manufacturer is my favorite. That's a that's a really tough question. Hey Chris, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> so what All is right. my what's 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 your favorite car manufacturer, Chris? Uh, I like all of the older Dodges. There you go, older Dodges. Like 60s, 70s. They're awesome. Yeah, those are cool cars. 
I need the code. I'm ready to join. Oh, okay. Uh, can you send it to him by any chance, Cameo? Would you mind? Yes. Uh... Chris, do you know how to get whispers on Discord? Or not Discord, but on uh, Twitch? Uh, I've seen them before, but I don't remember how. It should show up at your top up here. Yeah. Uh, I got it. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> right, I can't get there. Uh, another car that I would love to have, and once again, after after chastising Gator for picking BMW, um, would probably be a BMW M3. Yeah, blue. Okay. Yeah, that guy. Uh, uh, yep. Really? Yep. <laughs> Like the stripped down sport ah. version, the sport version, yeah. Uh huh. But that would only be if I was rich and didn't care. You know what I mean? Because that's that kind of car. So, uh, definitely would love to have as a as a a daily driver because they're cheap right now. Like a late nineties, early not early to late nineties Corvette ZR or Corvette from that era. I guess that'd be like the fourth body style, right? Let's see, one, two. I think that's it's either third or fourth. The C4, yeah. Well, ZR ones are specifically hard to get, but oh crap! I missed the road. Need? Um, if you want to start helping Cameo with the the next logging missions, there's some trucks out there set up. Or if you want to bring your own truck, that's fine too. Okay. I went the wrong way. Ugh. Oh, we're gonna make yeah, a daytime. I'm sorry, using guys. mine. I don't want to beat up the company trucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Repairs are free, my friend. I know, I know. You're not on your hard mode. All right, so midnight. Yeah, so pre before there'll be the, the early '90s then. That's the one I want. Uh, and they're about six thousand bucks right now for a for a, just a regular vet. So. Mine are prettier. They're orange. <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> your trucks are pretty orange. Yep. You know me. I gotta have my orange, man. Right. All right, All right, I think so this you're is you're working on the delivery through the plateau, correct? Yeah, the through the plateau is yes. what he's working on, and that's what I'll need you to and work on too. Right now, I'm working on the Riverside House, the two medium logs. Okay. My only issues with any of those cars, including the WRX STI, and my neighbor had one of those, and he's, his complaint was it had, especially those WRXs, they insist that you use premium fuel. And that adds up real quick. Um, so, unfortunately, they're expensive. But but really, you're going to laugh. <laughs> I was so happy with my Forte. The Forte GT with the 200 horsepower turbocharged engine and the goes 0 to 60 in 6 seconds and still gets, you know, 35 miles to the gallon. Um, it was the best balanced daily driver I've ever had. And I it was so much fun to drive. And it got great mileage, and it was, like, loaded. It had all, you know, all the computer goodies in it, and I just... And it was cheap. And that was the ultimate car for me, because it was just perfect. It had everything that I wanted. Sunroof. <sighs> I missed that car. I mean, I was supposed to use premium on my LT1, and I never did. I couldn't tell <laughs> any difference in it. I think just for the supposedly for the health of the engine because they're high compression engines. Yeah, I mean they're supposed it had to... 174,000 miles and no issues, so. You know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, they can call it what they want. I think I defied the physics on that one. That was. <laughs> and I had a lead foot when I had that car too. I miss yeah. it. Yeah. I Wait, what car was it? It was a LT1. It was a it was a 95 Z28 T top hunter green, <gasps> and it had the LT1 in it. Yes, oh. I had a Corvette engine in that bad boy. Oh, that's a beautiful it car. It was so fun. Yeah, they're so fast. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was very quick for what the it was. specs on my car were almost identical to the specs on that car. <laughs> it um. I always loved it when some little punk would pull up next to me in like a Mustang or even a newer car and start revving up. I was like, dude, you have no idea. You have no idea what the LT1's <laughs> going to do to you. 
Boom. Mine wasn't stock either. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, many of people uh, look dumb in that car. My dad, he was okay, but he got hit head on in it and totaled it. I just went ahead and sold it for scrap. Oof. Yeah, that Lancia Rally is awesome too. Another car that I definitely couldn't fit in. Any of like the Lotus Esprits, like the like the eighties, late eighties Lotus Esprit. Wow, oh, what a cool looking car. Well, that's like me looking back. How the heck did I ever fit in that Camaro? I mean, dude, I'm six hundred or six foot two, three hundred fifty pounds, but <laughs> I still I cr I crawled out of it and fell down in it somehow. <laughs> Always wanted one, so I got one when I couldn't afford it. Little GTO. I think that was about the Pontiac GTO, not the Ferrari GTO. Oh, right, yeah. You, since I'm helping you with this job, um, I'm going to take my Zeke's, a two slot sideboard, and a four slot trailer, and go Ooh. grab the long planks and the regular planks. Oh no, you hate it already. Why? <laughs> What's rural hate? He's hating. He start, now, I will say, when Javius first got it, he hated it too. But once he got used to it, he loved it. So just keep trying. You, but they are. The controls are interesting. You'll get used to them. And you can, they Gosh. are completely customizable, so you can, you know, set it to what the way that you want it, but yeah. That must be Star Citizen. Yeah, it takes, a, it's a, an acquired taste, trust me, you'll you'll get there. Ugh. But yeah. the, contr the controls are horrible. Of all the games I've bought, because you've played them, that will never be one of them. <laughs> Poor Star Citizen. Star Citizen is definitely an interesting that. game. I love it. Yeah, the sci-fi stuff, I mean, I, you know me, I'm always going to watch you, but it's just, it's not something I'm interested in. Like right. that and the Elite Dangerous and all that, they're just, they're not my cup of tea, but I'll still watch them. You know, I'm always <laughs> going to support the channel, so. Plus, fun stuff happens when we're doing it. Oh, yeah, that doesn't aggravate you. <laughs> That's oh, always a perk. Oh, interesting, huh? Have you done very much low flying yet? On Star Citizen? Yeah. Oh yeah, I love it. I just try well, not the... to I try not to crash into stuff. <laughs> yeah, Chris, if, there's if... no telling how many hours he has in that game, man. I'm pretty good at low flying, but I usually do it in smaller ships. Bigger ships it's a little scary. Hey, speaking of flying, I thought you and Pat's work were going to fly this weekend. Hey, Sandhill. Uh, we are going to fly on Thursday. On Thursday? Nice. Three seconds one of input of the, lag. Really? One of the discords I'm in is for that, and the, uh, the owner of the discord can low fly an 890 jump, and it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, he's saying he's getting a lot of input lag, too. I wonder what's going on with that. That's weird. See, now I fly keyboard and mouse, though, so I've never done it with a controller. But there's a lot of guys that use flight sticks. Absolutely. Yeah, like, it's that's that's what most people do. Hang on, where's this house that I'm supposed to deliver to? House near the road. It's disappeared. What the? Deliver it to the oh, house near the road. Oh, you got your mission track. Where did it go? What? I have to go to a different house? Oh no, I've been driving around the wrong way. Uh, yeah, you were going to the house that I had to go to. Yeah, I thought we both had to go there. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> Dang it. All right, well, I guess oh, I get well. to turn You're around just again. The scenic. You're just taking the scenic route. The scenic route, right. Showing everybody the area. Yeah. It happened, Sandhill. No, no, no need to apologize. I've got one long plank and two regular wooden planks. Okay. 
I'm sliding backwards. This is torquing in a very strange way. <laughs> Dual clutches are too speedy. Yeah, dual clutch is faster than manual shifting for sure. But I still prefer manual shifting just because I'm a, a fuddy duddy. It's no. Dual clutch is no fun. One of the funnest little manual cars I had was a 98 right. Volkswagen Beetle. Oh, yeah. Believe it or not, as goofy as that little car was, it was really low to the ground, so it, it drove really well around cars and stuff. It was just fun to drive. That's the uh, That was the second-gen Beetle, right? Like the new one? Yes, yes, yes. Yep. My wife and I actually took it on our honeymoon. That's hilarious. Up to Gatlinburg. No, it was my, fun driving that thing up and down the mountains. No, my, my friend shot. Whoa! <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's the Mastodon. Is that Zeke's. a Zeke's? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that that mass that the Zeke's was made by, or that the Mastodon was the Zeke's. Yep. I love this thing. It goes anywhere. Yes, it does. How in the world am I going to get over there? That's because Mike is not here. Micah would have been like, "Now you're going the wrong way." <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Uh, there's hell. Well, we'll try to go the right way this time and get this mission finished. Back through the same mud again. Hey, if go you get stuck, let me know. I got another one of these I can <laughs> pull out. <laughs> I think this truck usually makes it through, but it just takes a little while. All right. Come on, Kenny. I oh, saw I something about a, car. I saw something about a Nissan Sentra and a big guy, and I missed it. it. Went back too fast. I'm sorry, I didn't catch it. Oh, oh, he said that he could fit in it, so somebody wanted to sit behind him. Oh yeah, I mean that's most cars for me. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a very true statement. Subaru Justy. Oh yeah, my 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 uh, my brother-in-law had one of those. It was a, his was a stick shift too. He loved that car. Well, Arthur, we've you and I, we both joked about our weight stuff before. How tall are you? Because you look very six tall foot. To you. Yeah, six, six foot. foot. I'm not a little guy. Six foot three fifty. Yeah. I gotta I work got on that. I got you two inches. <laughs> <laughs> the Nissan Sentra. Man, I'll tell you what, those were boring cars in the 80s. Oof. That was about as as close to a Tesla as you can get. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Teslas are really fast and stuff, but to me, that's like driving an iPad. I don't know. It's like my friend's Camry. Uh, talk about a bore. It's a nice car. It re I'm so thankful that we got to use it for the last month and a half. Well, because he had his like, leg surgery and he let me borrow his car. But, man, is that thing boring to drive. <laughs> it's just so vanilla. Oh, I'm spoiled. At least Mark's car, which he's, he's, we're taking to the shop tomorrow to get fixed. At least his car um, has some personality because it's a five-speed. So you have some, some control over the car, and it feels like you're driving. It's not fast or anything. Plus, it's old. It's got 188,000 miles, I think. And uh, when you start it up, it's like, I like, I'm like, I think you might be getting some piston slap there, buddy. <laughs> but once it warms up, it's fine. And it sounds fine when it's running. He just, he's got a bad alternator right now. So we're going to replace that. That's the first part that's gone bad on that car. 180,000 miles. It's still got the original clutch. That's actually very impressive. Yeah, it needs yeah. another. It needs a clutch. It really does, but it's still got the original clutch. Yeah, that car has been. He bought it at uh, thirty thousand miles, and he's he's had it for many years now, and that thing just keeps running. That's a great little car. It seems like the Kias and the the Hyundai's they go they uh you can't do it. <laughs> 
Now, we'll have to look into some tutorials and stuff oh, and see if oh, we can oh. get it working. But if there's, like, a return period and you got to do it, like, to return it, then go ahead. I, I, you know, like, obviously, if it's that bad. But if you can't, if you, if you, if you can work on it and see, there, there's got to be a way to get it working right. Because there's guys that play it with dual sticks and stuff, and they've got it really, like, working well. So something's not right. There shouldn't be any input delay. And trust me, my kid, Ryan, is super picky when it comes to that kind of stuff. And he uses a dual stick with it. So there's got to be something that he, that he can help you with to get it working. You know, my Discord's bad. Not. Yeah, <laughs> ugh, logs. But yeah, it seems like the key uh, is it seems like the key is in the Hyundai's are really designed to go like just about two hundred thousand miles, and then you just you you chuck them. <laughs> That's the they're done. Uh, the motors really do start to go at that point. Uh, we've got. I've got a Hyundai that's got 206,000 miles in my driveway that's undrivable. Um, it needs new, all new rear brake stuff, and I don't have the money to do it. And it's not my car anyway. And it's leaking oil all over the driveway. And then um, Ryan's got a 230,000-mile Kia Soul. And it runs. I mean, it's still going, but it's definitely down on power. And it's, it is, he has to put, every 500 miles, he has to put a quart of oil in. So it's burning oil quite a bit. Uh, and then that means that the spark plugs are getting fouled. So he also has to replace the spark plugs every like 10,000 miles. So still cheaper than buying a new car, but it is getting to the point where it's, it's not going to last forever. And that is, that is the complaint with Kia, but that is what they tell you too when they sell you the car. They're like, yeah, 200,000 miles. And honestly, that's not bad. That's that's a pretty good distance for cars. Even you know, going back to when we when we were kids, cameo, you know. Mm, yeah, uh, eighty thousand miles from that. Yep, you that got was 80, crazy. You were doing good. Yeah. So they're a lot cheaper than a lot of the other manufacturers. Wow, the flinging Dodge Daytonas at me, or Dodge. Uh, I'm sorry. What is that? That's a uh, not a Daytona. Ugh. Uh. Durango, thank you. Wrong, wrong side of the country. Oh, interesting. Well, that, yeah. Yep, and that came out right when they first started, so that would make sense. I am spinning wheels like crazy. And not getting any... Okay, there we go. I got traction. I, I had to back off the throttle. I'm going as fast as a snail on a turtle's back, but I'm getting there. I think I have one more major water thing to cross before I get to the... This one's a really bad one, though. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, you son of a biscuit. What happened? Uh, don't ask. Did you tip? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what truck? The big Kenny. Oh, really? That surprises yes. me. The current, the current pushed me over. Oh. I couldn't get, I couldn't get at an angle at it hard enough, and it pushed me right over. Yeah, I'm getting in some pretty tough current here too. It's blowing me uh. sideways. Yo ho, blow me truck down. I'm full turned to the right, and I'm just slowly washing along the cars here. We had a fl but we had a flying Durango. My, my mom used to have a Durango. The original it was the original year that it was released, and we did have some. She had some problems with it. I say we because I was still living with them. Uh, okay, have fun with your grandpa Gator. Enjoy those times, man. I'll tell you that. Um, I certainly miss my grandpa. Um, and uh, so anyway, <laughs> well, pushed you right over. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I, we had this Durango and it, she did have trouble with it. And eventually she did. She traded it in for a smaller truck. That's when she got her CRV, the one that got tr crushed by the hurricane. Um, but she, uh, 
that Durango, it was a fun car. It was fun to drive. I mean, admittedly, it had a lot of power, and it was big. It was a, that was a big truck, and uh, comfy to, to drive places. Like it was good for long distance trips and stuff. I really liked it. Anyway, so now they got one. There's one for sale, uh, like by where my wife gets cigarettes. And I'm like, ooh, it's like green. It's like a dark green with, uh, with, but then they've kind of like done some like modding to it and it's got no rust. And they want it there. I, I think they're probably asking a lot for it because it's been sitting there for a long time for sale. But I'm like, ooh, that is a nice truck. Like, hmm. What were you going to say, Cams? I was going to say, I should not have bragged about how well the truck was doing. Because I, I no more than got the words out of my mouth, and that current swept me away. Uh oh. Oh no. Come on, baby. That's interesting. Come on. Come on. Are you seeing what's happening here? Yes. Oh, she's doing it. Come on. I got it in low, low. All right, let's see if we can slip it up a gear. Uh, nope, back down. <laughs> yeah, the dark green. <laughs> yeah. It was, oh, God, thank goodness. Thank goodness, Red Alpha. And so you got it back. That's crazy. Good. All right, there we go. We made it. I think there's some ice on that, which is why I did that. Okay, where's the road back to this place that we're supposed to go? Uh-oh. Get him, Red Alpha! Get him! Nail that sucker to the <laughs> wall. Thank you. Golly, he's ran so fast. I know. <laughs> Sword out. Oh, no. This road is really bad. Well, this has taken us just about an hour to get done. Not too bad, honestly using just the oh, rear-wheel drive truck. <laughs> right, green was the color of the 70s, right? All kinds of different greens. Green and brown, those are two colors. Now, they came back later with what they call champagne, which is still kind of a goldish brown. But, yeah, those are two colors you don't see very often anymore. Though, Admittedly, Hyundai and Kia have been introducing cars with, with both brown and green paint jobs. I think champagne was one of the ugliest colors they had. Oh, God. When it first came out, it was like, oh, that's not bad. But then, like, every Camry on Earth is champagne. <laughs> I was like, I felt so bad. My friend Ben. Uh, I'll, let me see if I can find it. Give me one second here. I'm going to find a photo. We're going to pause the stream. Hang on. During that stage, um, yeah, they were comfy, and, they, and they're great cars. They lasted forever, you know, and I tried to make him feel better by saying that. <laughs> but he was like, is that great looking? And I'm like, no, dude, that looks like it's so ugly. <laughs> and he was, like, pretty offended. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you asked. <laughs> uh, the nose on that car. The Toyota was, like, in a slump at that point. They've... They've since recovered. The newer Camrys are good looking, and you know they're 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 still boring inside, though. But but they're definitely comfortable. Like we've been, like I've been driving one around for the last two months, and it's great. It's very comfortable. My wife loves it. She's like, "Oh, this car is really comfortable," and I'm like, "I know. It's really roomy." And anyway, a lot of room in the back seat, like for the baby. She, her legs aren't all squished up against the seat in front of her. Uh, this is a nightmare. But still not my favorite car. Ugh. Oh, you got to be kidding. Yeah. Oh, there. A little bit. I got a little bit of forward motion there. What am I stuck on? Like something has really wedged me in. Can I get Probably this? Probably the rocks under trailer. Yeah, it's oh, like the like on stream. Yeah, yeah, the wheels have gone. Uh, little boing. There we go. Okay. <laughs> a little force there. Nothing got hurt. Nobody was injured. You like it, Jay? <laughs> mm. 
The beige. The beige. So yeah, it's to me those are just horrible looking cars. That that model actually wasn't as bad. But when you from the side that the nose like stuck out, it looked like it had a snoot. It was just not a good looking car. Uh It's like a big mouth. Like my big mouth. Oh, yeah. All right, so I got to take this truck back now. Oof. I know. I saw that. Does anybody care? <laughs> Sorry. I don't. I know. I said I, I came out. I'm like, I don't think I can get anybody to play with me, but still, that's cool. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Right. It's super bland. You said shot to the heart. <laughs> no, I, I think that it's... Uh, well, at some point, we'll have to pick it up. I don't know. Maybe when we're done with this game, I just... I can't justify it because nobody watches the videos. In fact, at the point where we were running the streams, we were getting like... Like, we got we went up to 40 people tonight. When we were doing the... the um, the streams on uh, mud run or on the expeditions, we were getting like ten people. <sighs> Dang game! I think what really hurt it is everyone had high expectations and it did not meet them. It's just not as good as this game, or even close. Mm -hmm. Nope. I don't know what they were. I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. It, it's like it was missing some of the a lot of the pieces that were made this game great. And the controls are all screwed up. Yeah, I just I don't understand what what happened. Like it, I, it's it's a weird thing. Like what, what did you do? They, all, they sat around in a room like, hey guys, we've got this really great game. How can we screw it up? Yeah, let's <laughs> let's make what let's, they did. Right. You know? Yeah, but as usual, it has mods. I just I yeah like I wish they would have looked at this game and gone what can we do better in this game well why don't we improve scouting but make it like still the same kind of game you know okay well I mean because this did so well let's make a part two and I knew that they, that they were trying to get away from that but I was hoping they would still use some of the useful elements that were in this game like being able to leave a truck out so that you could support other vehicles in the middle of the woods. You know, so they kind of broke things that were good about this game. Maybe they thought were broke. I don't know, but uh, uh, well, Red's got a good point there too. What's that? I wanted to. Yeah, true. It is a niche interest from the game too, right? It's not not everybody likes that. Well, the rock crawling aspect of expeditions. Not everybody's into that either. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to end the episode. By the way. At 58 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of SnowRunner. We had fun making it. Thanks to Chris and um, um, Cameo that came out to help me tonight to get these missions done. And um, we will see you guys next time on YouTube. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye. You want to say goodnight, guys? Night, guys. <laughs>